I have noticed a lot of you have a challenge, you know, using external APIs in your AppGiver no code, low code framework. So there are a, a few tips, uh, you know, in a way where you can uh, debug your program in AppGiver. You probably like if you're trying to debug in a mobile, it's not that easy and it's not really a convenient way of debugging it. But you could debug it on your uh, web or or you know, your computer, and then you can transfer it to mobile. Most of the scenarios, maybe almost 90% of the scenarios, you'll be able to reproduce them on a browser and you will be able to debug it and transfer over to mobile. There are certain things uh, which we cannot debug in the uh, browser and it doesn't work on mobile. So in those cases, you have to follow a you know, different approach. But most of the cases uh, can be covered on a browser. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to debug and try to uh, you know uh, figure out errors uh, in your app so starting with uh, i have seen many questions where uh, i showed a, a video earlier on uh, firebase user registration and a lot of uh, you know people having an error uh, just it shows an error occurred it does not give a lot of information so i'm going to show you how you can get an actual error code from a backend and the second thing is, and I'm also going to show you how you can debug your program to see whether uh, your configuration is right in your app driver and it's a system ret returning an error or probably you missed something. So let's get started. Let me switch to another screen. Switch to the lodges. Okay, so this one is better. Now, this is the app from my last video. If you haven't seen my video, I will put a link here. Uh, I would recommend you watch that video so here we have the sign up form uh, then we have this create record flow function on a successful creation it raises 200 and then it says user created successful uh, if the record is created then we navigate back otherwise we raise an error message now this error message an error occur during user creation is a custom uh, error message this is not the actual error message uh, issued by Firebase database. So how do we identify or how do we capture the backend error message? And that is here, what we do is, now in your toast or any message, actually in any, uh, and most of the mapping, there's an option here down here, if you see it's called uh, output value of another node. So if you have, let's say you have two nodes in your flow function, there's a node, does something there's another node does something now typically we pass values from one place to another place using variables you know we put declare variables we assign it here then the variable uh, then the values is value value is stored in the variable then the same variable we read it in another flow function and we perform some activity however in AppGiver, there is another way so you can link two flow functions directly. You can take values from the previous one and then you can pass it to the next one. Uh, this is useful if you are writing a, a JavaScript flow, flung, flow functions. You don't have to assign variables, but you can just capture your output from the previous Java function, JavaScript function into your next flow function. So you can use this option called output value from another node, go in here. Now uh, we know uh, we are using create record uh again i'll show you this is a create record so we go here output value uh create record so we have two options select the logic node yeah either create record or event received so i selected create record because that's our flow function or the previous flow function now if you see if you notice here we have um a kind of a structure or an object with the error and this is the error uh, object which is sent by the backend system so if you if you want to see the actual error coming out of the backend system instead of writing or overriding the error with the custom one you can just map uh, your message directly here you map the message uh, attribute and then when it raises the error it will raise the actual error from the backend instead of just masking that error so this is a one way of uh, um, mapping actual errors and debugging it so once you map that you will find out a possible error uh, it may say probably you are using a wrong key you might have mistyped your key 
or you did not format your authorization header properly so there could be many reasons but this will help you to pinpoint you know a particular area in the, author the authentication process now this is a one way of doing it and then the following way which i'm going to show you is common for almost any um, external calls so let's say you have uh, a service integrated in your app and uh, for whatever reason you are not receiving information or you are not sure like what you are sending is not been sent or you are not um, formatting your query properly in those cases you could use uh, like a general browser practices or web development practices so you launch your um, app like here when it launches you basically deploy the developer tool or launch the developer tool by using F12 key on your keyboard or uh, if you're using let's say uh, Chrome you can go in here more tools and then there's a developer tools what this does is it basically gives you uh, a view on uh, the traffic flow between your app and a backend system so this is like an intermediate layer or intermediate uh, step to see how, what is going on behind the scene so when you send a request that request will be logged in a network and when you receive a response you also see that response coming back so you will see the request and a response you know together in the network tab so for example uh, if i launch this one now you can see here in a console i have an error because that uh, url is not active or not live and like it says it's a connection error it refused because that url doesn't exist but in a net in a network tab you can see much more detailed information you can see your uh, url and if you have queries or if you have uh, authentication header on your url you will be able to see it under request so in this case i don't have anything but if there is one then you will see it here and then you can take that authentication header and then you try to understand or you try to understand based on your request url most of the cases it's either the url is not formatted properly or your authentication authorization token is not prop uh, formatted properly so this is how you can debug um, i can show you one working though so let's see i'm not sure which uh, this is okay so let's launch uh, this is the visitor log so this one i'm not i don't remember my password most probably yes no it's not but anyway we, we don't want to um i don't want to log in i want to i want to show you so i'm on a network tab here and if i say login you can see it here so this this is the url uh, you know got called where you can see uh is sending v3 uh, verify password and this is i think base 64 encoded password uh it just sent a, did a post request so there is a post get put uh, different uh, uh http requests uh and then under here you should see authorization token if you had sent in a request headers did it send authorization token uh or you, no, it did not because it included it in the URL here, the verify password key. But most of the basic authentications, you will see uh, here authentication header property with base64 encoded user ID and a password. So this is a way, you know, this is one of the way you can uh, debug your issues or you can uh, try to understand if something doesn't work in AppGyver. And this is a basic like a web development concept. So it's not just basic, it's just not, AppGaver specific, but it's in general. This is how uh, web development things are debugged. You know, whenever we do some development, this is how we look at the uh, uh, issues or we try to uh, debug issues and try to fix the issues. So that this is a second option. Now the third one, let's say for whatever reason you could not figure out uh, and it's still not working, you can just keep everything in AppGaver, take the URL take the authentication and use uh, external tools like postman as postman is one of the most popular uh, tool to uh, send requests uh, externally without the browser or programmatically you can send them uh, if you are comfortable you can use anything uh, any other tool uh, as well but postman is one of the be 
best easiest and simplest tool you can use so whatever configuration you are doing in appgiver just take that config go in postman create a request send it and test your uh, endpoint if your endpoint works fine if your settings are fine then come back and try to see whether you are missing something or is something wrong with the appgiver so this is how you can uh, debug your issues in in appgiver or in general in a web development so that's all i wanted to share it's um, a quick video uh, i hope this will help you to resolve your issues